At SEQH, we're a full service wharf logistics provider. So what does that actually mean? Well, we work with importers and exporters via the Port of Brisbane to handle their container transport and brake bulk requirements. Now, full service extends beyond transport and our impressive facilities in Hemet offer the following suite of services. Starting at the top, we've got container transport and that is trailer, side loader and road train solutions via our Brisbane and our Toowoomba operations. We've then got full warehousing capabilities here in Hemet. That is export packing and also import unpacking. And I'm talking about your standard pallets, bulk bags, skids, and then moving into more of your exotic cargo, your overdimensional freight, pipes, cars, agricultural machinery, and even live animals. We've got a custom 77G bonded license to handle containers and loose freight. We have a quarantine 1.1 license where we can complete rural tailgates, quarantine inspections, fumigations, and quarantine washes as well. We've got bulk tipping and handling uh, capabilities. We have a bulk shed that is quarantine approved, and typically we're handling cattle feed and also fertilizer. And that either is bagged up or put into um, bulk tippers and transported from there, our tippers or other carriers tippers. Our heavy haulage fleet is continually growing and we've got capabilities to handle up to 50 ton um, pieces of, uh, of machinery. And we've also got our, our newest addition, newest addition coming in in 2017, is our log export packing operation. Now that's where we receive in logs from the forest, we complete inspections, we pack the containers, we fumigate them depending on the country, complete the VGM and then transport them to the Port of Brisbane Wharf for export. So at SEQH we're a full service wharf logistics provider, that's what we've grown to become, that's what we, we, we pride ourselves on. Brett Plummer from South East Queensland Hauliers. I want to talk to you a little bit, about, a little bit today about a couple of things. About the why we do what we do, how we do what we do, and what can you can expect from SEQH should things not quite go as per plan. First is why we do what we do. In our DNA is a desire to serve customers. That's what I preach from the top, and that's what the people in this organisation live for. At the end of the day, we're here to serve and do a good job for our customers. That's our reason for being. Um, the next point I want to talk to you about is, is how we do that. What are the sort of things we promise? We like to do the job right and, and first time. In doing that, we try to be efficient and be innovative where possible. Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, this is all aimed at meeting our customers' needs. So all, all, of, all the rest of it is, is worthless unless we ultimately meet what the customer requires. And that, that's, the, that's the sort of the rationale or, the, or the, the, the DNA imprint of what we do at SEQH. The third thing I want to talk about is what if things go wrong? It's all very nice to talk about when things go right, that's great. And most of the time that's exactly what happens. But from time to time things go wrong. Things go wrong for us or things go wrong for the customer. The point is then, what does SEQH do? Well, first thing I'd say to you is we're contactable. We publish out and we provide our mobile phone numbers and we answer them. So the first thing is you can contact us. Second thing is we'll be responsive to what your requirements are and what's gone wrong. So I suppose at the end of the day, you can contact us after hours and we'll try and do something about the problem and write the issue, whatever the, whatever the issue might be, whether SEQH's issue or somebody else's issue. And I suppose that's the that's the Again, our DNA is not to let things sit. If things aren't right, to try and get in and fix the issue and resolve it as quickly as we can.